Hey, who? DJI Tubbs? Yeah. What's going on? He's in the chat. He said he. Oh, hold on. Where is we, he? We get, we get the hookup. We get the hookup. All right. Where is he? Before, <laughs> before we get to that, though, we got Emperor Turkey, who's gonna be facing off against Ludi. Yeah. Ludi getting things started. Listen, with neutral DJ Tubbs. All I just want the Raiden outfit. <laughs> with the hat. Head to toe. The Raiden outfit with the hat, bro. I'll wear that off the stream. <laughs> oh, nice there. Thirty percent combo for Turkey. They got Violin got to do one with the Coral Con feathers. Now give me the Shao Kahn helmet and we're good. Oh, that'd be sick. Yo, know, imagine. Oh, the back three. Okay, Emperor Turkey now really even in life here on both sides, but okay, Ludi gonna get things going with a combo. Doesn't have to keep it grounded. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Actually, no, I do know what uh, Johnny's armor breaking in. It's the flip kick. No, that is insane. Oh! Ooh, immediate hit push him right in. He immediately goes for the fatal blow and it works out. I think this is smart, you know, although it looks like it may have been a waste because he doesn't obviously utilize the maximum damage potential, it's still smart. Guarantee yourself a round. If you have to use that resource to guarantee yourself a round, I always recommend you use it. And there we go, not going for the crushing blow punish, but he's gonna get something just as juicy, forcing Ludi to break away. I'm a little lost right now. Why is Ludi playing Johnny Cage? I've known this guy as a die-hard Cabal loyalist since the That's beginning true. of time. That's true. See, we saw him playing really well with Johnny before. Sorry, with uh, with Cabal before as well. Maybe he doesn't like the matchup, Portal versus uh, Cabal sack. It could be. <laughs> I didn't know he changed his name. <laughs> what do you mean? I said Cabal. <laughs> you okay, buddy? This is a fat throw. Ludi gonna try and play catch up here. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he goes with the retaliation. Oh, oh it, the big oh. miss! He tried to get the grab, the down four. Oh my god, Ludi right now finally showing us why this Johnny Cage was the right pick. And he's gonna close out. Oh no, not just yet. I thought he had the round. Mamma mia! Bro, one more touch into fatal blow for either of them, and it's over. I can't watch. Well, not for uh, Turkey. Uh, Turkey isn't that fatal, but really close. Oh, and he got him. I only need one. Incredible. Incredible from Ludi. Staying alive. What if he did the Batman reference out of nowhere? You want to get nuts? We're like, what? When they had that? <laughs> and he looks at the screen. He said, that's for you, Destroyer. You fucking idiot. I say, bro, relax. Big combo there. 31%. Oh, doesn't get the whip on it, though. Booty now stuck in the corner. Turkey gonna try and take control. Gets the down two. He <gasps> tried to get the trip guard. That could have been dangerous for your boy Ludicrous. Oh, big whip punish. It's gonna yep. be a breakaway, yep. I shut off the console after that one. Oh, down one, and that's gonna convert. Amazing conversion off the down two anti-air there from Emperor Turkey as he also now continues with the corner control. Bad news bears if you're Ludi right now, but he has that fatal blow. The ultimate comeback mechanic gets caught by the co command grab. Is that it though with the amplification? Oh, he's dead. Yes, it is. I wonder if we're going to be seeing wow. a character switch from Ludi again. I don't recognize this guy as a Johnny Cage player, so seeing him going with this pick, it has to be character specific, honestly. I think he's doing this because he, he kind of feels like having the control of the, of the force balls right. would definitely cause Kotal Khan to have a lot of mishaps. But let me tell you, man, the way Ember Turkey's been playing this tournament, it looks like nothing's going to stop this guy. Yeah. Turkey is playing extremely well with this Kotal Khan. Mr. Aquaman would be very proud. Oh, I know Aquaman's watching this in Atlantis right now. He said, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm very proud right now. Is that your Mr. Aquaman impression there? Well, that's my Mr. Aquaman impression when he's chilling in Atlantis, chilling in his, like, his couch and shit, you know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Smoking right. a cigar, he's like, I'm very proud of my boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? What does he usually drink again? The Kraken stuff. The Kraken, yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, he he's the one that introduced me to that because I I never heard of that shit until uh I seen him you pulling like it? it out. I never tried it. Oh, okay. Well, you said he introduces you, so I, I thought you. I'm talking about like on the stream. Oh, okay. All right, but well, it looks like you called it as Ludi did make the character switch over to Kabalan. 
This is his comfortable character. Listen, if we're talking alcohol, man, I, I'm, I'm like about the dark liquors. I like the the, the Jack Daniels, the Captain Morgans, all, all that bad. shit. And then I, I do Ooh. clear liquor too. Ciroc is probably like the my favorite for the clear liquor. Oh, you like Ciroc? You know, I'm a little baby boy when it comes to the liquors, so. <laughs> you want to oh, nice fight? We can fight. We can fight. You want to fight? <laughs> I'll fight you all in the chat. What's up? Are you yanking yeah, up with me now? Oh my goodness. All right, we're we're getting derailed here. We're getting derailed. There's a forward throw now from Ludi. Oh my god, Kraken is black liquor? I've never tried it. Oh, the restand. 1-1-1 one, one, one. into the reset again, but gets countered. That's going to be a crushing blow, and the Fatal Blow is ready. He's going to activate it right away. Ludi knew it was coming. Didn't spend the defensive meter. Otherwise, that would have been a lost defensive meter for him, and he would have just been going into this without that resource. But he's not dead. He's not dead. No, Ludi can still do this, bro. He needs one read. Oh, Yo, when I said one read, the Fatal Blow was too risky of a read. Very risky. I don't know. I mean, I understand kind of the, the thought process behind it. Maybe looking for any sort of hit or movement from Emperor Turkey, but there wasn't any. Oh, the armor breaking move. That's crushing. Whoa. Yo, this for is the first time. What he's been waiting to do. But when it crushing blows, it doesn't launch for the combo. It does not, but it does a ton of damage. I think it's only fair. Because otherwise, then it's really ridiculous. Wow, Emperor Turkey trying to make a comeback here right now. He does have the round. You know, he is sitting pretty with a match lead. Beautiful conversion here. Gonna drop it though, Ludi. You know, that was Ludi's chance to get out of this situation, but he's just locked. He's locked down. Not gonna opt to spend the crush, but another armor break. We're seeing that armor break being put to really good use here in this matchup against Turkey. That is good damage for Ludi to be getting away with, and also to now put Turkey in a position where he doesn't have any more breakaway as now Ludi ties up the rounds. Holy cow. I oh, love the way, yeah, dude, the way Ludi's staying in this is seriously mind blowing. Yeah, he's playing so I, well right I, now. I would have lost my composure like fucking three matches ago. Oh, yeah, I would have been eliminated for a minute already. Look, you got all the monks in the background, Ooh. all of them dead from boredom right now, watching this insane <laughs> match. They said, what is this? They sat there and waited so long for as good of a match as this one that they ended up just dying because of it. <laughs> oh man, big corner pressure from Turkey as he now takes it. Are we gonna see a brutal of some kind? No, we're not. And listen, and that's going to be game number two. I'm a little disappointed with the lack of friendship brutalities. And look at the, yeah, the new head post. Kotal Khan showing us that he has the biggest thighs in the game. Unreal. <laughs> is, that, is that not what he does? He fucking spreads <laughs> his legs open. He says, look at my thighs. Do they impress you? Yes, Kotal. Well, hold on. I'm thinking, doesn't Shao have impressive. bigger ones? Doesn't Shao got bigger thighs? I think that's uh, a <laughs> that's a question we so. that's a question we find out in the finale. Okay, okay. <laughs> the next DLC, the next one. <laughs> <laughs> the next fucking aftermath chapter two. Oh man, they're measuring Lu that Lu shit. Liu Kang is gonna create a new era where Shao Kahn and Kotal Kahn are, are comparing thigh sizes. Oh my goodness. That's he said Kotal skipping leg day. Jesus. I can't with Ludi's uh, player card, though. And Emperor Turkey's player card, too. He literally has the Kotal Khan Turkey. This is, yo, that is the, the dude, that is the perfect player card for this guy. Absorbing the projectiles. Turkey looking to walk away with this one really quick and head into winner's finals. Can he do it? Nice. Commits to the full string. That was actually kind of smart. He commits to the full string, otherwise he would have been an easy whiff punish. Wow, really smart. Good. Good stuff from Turkey. He gets caught now. Oh, if Ludi went for the hook grab, he would have gotten that armor breaking. Ooh, good down three underneath the Yahimian disc. Term Turkey is spending that defensive meter a lot. 
If I'm moody, I gotta be prepared whenever that defensive meter is out to go for that hook grab every time. Okay, forward throw. Oh, this is getting crazy. Oh, no. Okay, it's gonna be a big combo now. Official conversion, no breakaway to worry about. Getting that damage, switching the sides. Doesn't opt to end oh, the amplification. Oh, the spend depth the into the grab, dude. Doesn't spend the amplification again. I'm I don't not know sure why, why he's not looking for that damage, but okay, he still gets for the round. Real, dude, especially moments to kill. Like, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Any last little bit counts when the life bars are so close like they were just then. Dude, even the Tarkatans in the background are losing their shit. He said, why did he spend the bar? Why did he spend the bar? He said, rock, 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 rock. Oh, the flawless block up three. Oh, steady now, steady now, Ludi, man. This guy is looking for the kill. W w what is the score right now? Turkey's up 2 0. Yeah, this yep. is bad. This is bad, dude. Definitely not the greatest scenario here for Ludi, but. He gets the punish. Wow. Oh, went for the throw and the call out from Turkey. This is going to be so much damage. Probably going to amplify to bring it. No, okay. No. He's not going to amplify to potentially have brought it up to 40%. He's I mean, 37 is already ridiculous. The, the, the meat management from Turkey is on another level right now. Oh boy, that's going to be the game. I just, I'm just not sure though. Like, big ups to Turkey. Won the game. I wouldn't have been able to do what Turkey's able to do here. But I'm just not sure what exactly the thought process is behind not spending that meter. You know? <laughs> what are you saving it for? But GG's. GG's. Turkey moves on is going to be facing off against the Mighty Unjust for the last opportunity to try and claim that bounty. If we're looking over on the loser side of things, Slinky has made a bit of a run and will face off against Ludi there. And then we also got Sunio, who's going to be facing off against Sweat MD. So the loser's bracket, real sweaty. We also have the quarter.